What's up everyone, Gus here with another video. Today I want to talk to you about the Zion Smooth Q. This is a three axis gimbal stabilizer for phones up to 3.3 inches wide and um, also up to 7.7 .7 ounces. So the battery on the Smooth Q lasts for about 12 hours and it's very easy to charge. It comes with a, with a cable on here and you plug it right into the side here. And it comes in a very nice case that you can take it anywhere. It keeps it very protected. It looks like kind of like a little guitar box, but uh, the Zion is very good. It's very, for the price, I was very impressed. I use it primarily with the uh, GoPro Hero 5 and I use it with the iPhone 7 Plus. In the iPhone 7 Plus, I do have to get it out of the, the case. Mine does not work. I couldn't get a balance with it on my case, so every time I wanna use it, I have to uh, take it off. First impressions of the Zyan Smooth Q is, um, uh, it's plasticky, it's not like, uh, doesn't feel like something very expensive, but the reason uh, I got this is because my iPhone 7 Plus would not work would not work with the uh, the DJI Osmo. It had some issue with the image stabilization on the iPhone 7 Plus, but for some reason it works fine with this. It's a lot better. It doesn't get that jello movement. Um, so that's why I went with this. And also, it's a lot cheaper. This only comes in at about $140. To get a balance, there is a little screw right here, a little knob here, and you have to. You pretty much. If you have an iPhone 7 Plus, like or a phone similar, you have to go all the way. There's just no other, it's very easy to get a balance because all you have to do is just pull this arm all the way up and it's pretty much gonna be balanced. This is as balanced as I could get it with the phone. So there's no other way to go. I couldn't go any further out. So this is pretty much it. To power it up, you gotta hold it for three seconds and there it is. And the gimbal is on. So the first mode is the follow mode. And when you turn the, the joystick like this, it just pans, it follows, it's a follow pan. And also the only thing you can do with the joystick is you can tilt it up and down and that's it. But when you turn it, it follows. And the next mode, if you click it again, one more click, this one is the lock mode. You can do anything with it and it will not, it's gonna stay right there. And what the lock mode uh, lets you do though, you can move the joystick to the right, you can move the joystick to the left, and you can also tilt up and down. So that's what the lock mode lets you do. And then if you double click, now this is just a full on mode, so this any movement you make with the gimbal, that's pretty much what it's gonna do. So if I go back, it goes back. If I go down, it goes down. If I turn, it's just gonna follow all the movements of my hand. And then the last mode is if you triple click, is selfie mode, it just spins at 180 degrees. I do not use this mode very much because the iPhone has um, a 1080 for the front facing camera. So usually I just use it like this, but if you want to use it uh, to do in 4K, all you do is you press the remote button three times and it'll spin back around. And if you wanna get back to the first mode again, you just press it again three times and it'll turn back the other way. So you can use the front facing camera and it is selfie mode, so I don't use that one a lot unless you wanna get it 4K. And it also has a uh, quarter inch thread on the bottom if you want to mount it to a, uh, a tripod. To shut it down, you just press it for about three seconds and the unit powers off. And what I wanna, sh what I wanna show you next is how I use it with my GoPro. Because a lot of people said you have to get the adapter and things like that and you, you don't. So this is with it, with my GoPro mounted. The only thing is you cannot see the, the screen, but if you set it up, before you put it on, you should be just fine. You don't need that adapter extension that everyone talks about, unless that's something you're looking forward to. I use it this way and it works great. Actually, the way I use it the most is actually the selfie mode because then it just spins it around it and I can use it 
this way to film other things up and down and, and it works it, it works great this way so you don't really need that adapter right out of the box you can just use the smooth Q with your GoPro however you would like to use it like I said I use it in selfie mode most of the time because this is the way that it works better for me so next I'm gonna play the footage with the Zion smooth Q so let me know if you like this video and if you use gimbals which one you recommend because I'm still looking for one uh, for my other cameras for my point and shoot so if you have any recommendations please let me know down in the comments on what I should get for a point and shoot and I'll see you in the next video